So the next thing I'm gonna be working on is the four link suspension. And I found this really cool calculator from Busted Knuckle Off-Road. And it's this big giant spreadsheet that helps you figure out whether you have the right geometry for your four link so that you have appropriate anti-squat, anti-dive, instant center, roll center, all that stuff. So I just need to pull some of these dimensions in from here and plug it into the equations on the spreadsheet. And it's going to plot the arm location, which is pretty cool. Whoever set that calculator up is a total wizard at Excel. And in order to get the center of gravity calculation correct, I need to set the material properties for this LS engine model that I found. As I downloaded it with the materials undefined, its weight was 200 pounds, which is not even close. So I need to go through every single component on here and switch it to aluminum or steel. And then I chose to model this as a cast iron block on here to give a little extra margin on the weight so that when I'm modeling this, this engine assembly can account for the total mass of the engine, all the accessories and everything else that's connected to it. Even though most likely it'll probably be an aluminum block LS that I would end up using, but some people run iron block V8s on race cars. So I don't know if you guys have any opinions on whether iron block or aluminum block LS is better. Uh, the jury seems to be out online. So I'd love to hear all of your incredibly strong opinions about iron block versus aluminum block LS engines and strength, reliability, power capability, all that good stuff. So the center of mass is about there and I need to draw some instant center lines. So that's a line that goes from the bottom of the rear wheel to the front of the rear wheel. And you can see those, the four link geometry starting to take shape in those plots on the Excel spreadsheet. The trailing arms are going to be parallel to the vehicle. And then the top four link mounts are going to be triangulated with 24 inches between them. That's those blue lines that you see there. And then I'm trying to figure out what the appropriate anti-squat geometry is. As far as I can tell, you want to draw a line between the bottom of the rear wheel that intersects with a horizontal line defined by the CG. And so that's what that line is there, that diagonal line. And then you want everything to intersect there. So that's going to be my approximate mounting location for the triangulated 